What's going on sports fans? I want to talk right now about what just happened to the Houston Rockets and with Kawhi Leonard being out. But not only that, just the fact that I've been hearing so much and you know, I watch Undisputed all the time. Shout out to Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. And I understand that people expect the world from LeBron James because he was a, he was anointed this king before he came out of high school and all this other BS that goes on with the comparisons with him and Jordan and all that stuff like that. But people need to stop and understand what LeBron James is. They need to understand this man's greatness. I don't give a, listen, it doesn't matter where he plays. He, it's not his fault that the people that are in, in, in the East are there. You can only beat what's in front of you. I don't understand why people use this excuse. Oh, but nobody's there. Oh, but listen to me, Kawhi Leonard sat out and people, listen, you can argue that the Spurs are a much better team without Kawhi Leonard. Just, just looking at the regular season record, uh, everything that uh, Coach Popovich has done, don't ever get this twisted, man. I tweeted this yesterday. Bill Belichick and Greg Popovich are system coaches. I'm not taking anything away from Tom Brady, but it, it, it has to be said. It has to be said that you're suspended. Tom Brady suspended four games and they go three and one. The, the, and Garoppolo got hurt and they put somebody else out there. Like, listen, look. People need to understand something. There's certain players that if they leave, you see the difference. Every place that LeBron James has been, they've won. When he leaves, what happens? The Cavs were winning, listen, the Cavs won so many games, number one seed, all that stuff, when LeBron was there. He went to Miami, what happened? People talk about Kyrie Irving. I'm not trying to knock Kyrie Irving, but what was he doing before LeBron James came back? Yeah, he was a great player, stuff like that, he didn't make the people around him better though. And then I gotta hear this all the time. And like I said, I love me some Shannon Sharp. I love me some Skip Bayless or Undisputed. If you guys don't watch that show, definitely check it out on Fox, uh, you know, Fox Network. Uh, Fox Network. It's De FS1, I think it is. Um, very, very unbelievable, very, very good show. Very, very good chemistry between those two individuals. But it's starting to get ridiculous that for some reason, Skip Bayless is unable to give LeBron James his credit. I don't under, I don't understand this. When you look at what just happened, the first of all, James Harden is an outright joke. He let's just call it like this. He choked. It is what it is. Sometimes it happens. The pressure gets to you. Play off James Harden. Listen, it, it happens. That's what he's gonna do. That's what he's about. The guy he's never really stepped up in the playoffs anyway. So I'm not really trying to figure out uh, what happened or whatever like that. I didn't expect them to win the series. I, I had the Spurs winning it. I just didn't expect them to win it in six. I thought they would win it in seven. I thought that Kyrie, uh, you know, Kawhi Leonard would uh, sit out this game and come back game seven, and they would win it. In, you know, they would win it at home with the Spurs. I did not expect them uh, to win this game. Let me just say that. But I do need people to start to understand. Kawhi Leonard is a great defender. He's a great player. He should not be on the same stratosphere right now as LeBron James. Even though LeBron James, what is he, 32 years old? LeBron James is a freak of nature. We very, very rarely get to see something like that. It's like when we got to see the Jordan era. We couldn't understand how this man was able to do that fadeaway, the way he was able to do it with all these guys on him, like everybody diving at him. He was always, it was just nothing but net. We couldn't understand it while we were witnessing greatness. When Magic Johnson was playing and just dishing the ball out all, all kinds of different ways, we didn't understand it because it's greatness. Larry Bird. These guys that were out there where you just looked at, you got what, Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, these great players, the things that they did, when you're in the moment, you don't really appreciate it. And that's what the problem is. Because Kawhi Leonard, okay, listen, I can, look, man, if you ask me who I'd rather watch, we all know. Even the haters that hate LeBron James would rather watch LeBron James than Kawhi Leonard. The same guys that are spewing this ridiculousness out of their mouth that Kawhi Leonard is the best, like Reggie Miller, let me just say this, Reggie Miller said that he's the he's the best two-way player. I can't take Reggie Miller seriously. And I know that he was, a, you know, he's a great three-point shooter. Re Reggie Miller, you couldn't get it done in the playoffs when it counted. I don't care, listen, you guys gotta understand something. The people that are saying things, you gotta, it had, like if, if, if Charles Barkley, Charles Barkley is one of the great, one of the, one of the 50 most greatest players. I, I don't know if Reggie, Reggie Miller's on that list or whatever like that, but regardless of that, Charles Barkley was an underside, uh, a undersized power forward. And when it comes to gameplay, uh, what he did on what he did on the court, 
I listen to what Charles Barkley says. Anything else other than that, Charles Barkley, I, I, I don't even pay attention to what he's saying. Anything about race and politics, I, I can't even watch that show. I don't know why they would pick him to talk about anything like that. But when you look at his impact and Reggie Miller's, Reggie Miller was a three-point shooter. So for him to say that Kawhi Leonard is the best two-way player, I can't listen. I can't take that man seriously, I, and I'm not going to. But I'm gonna let you guys understand this right now. The Spurs beating the Rockets the way they just did, it proves that the Spurs is a system team. And if you guys want me to go in with Bill Belichick and Tom Brady, leave it in the comments. I love Tom Brady. I think Tom Brady's great. Do I think they could have come back against the uh, Atlanta Falcons with Garoppolo in that Super Bowl? Absolutely not. But a lot of the wins that Tom Brady has gotten has been because of the defense that Bill Belichick has built as well as what he has surrounding him. Can you just imagine if Bill Belichick had Peyton Manning in the same system? Just take, just take a second to think about that. When people say that, oh, it's not a system, coaches don't matter, just think about that. What if Peyton Manning had Bill Belichick as his coach in the same system? Just think about that. Kawhi Leonard set out and a lot of people made a lot of money in Vegas yesterday because they fell for the BS and they didn't understand that Greg Popovich is a Hall of Fame coach and he's been doing it for so long. So at this point, he's underappreciated. And that's what the problem is. You cannot compare Kawhi Leonard to LeBron James. Even at his age right now, LeBron James is the greatest player in basketball in the world and possibly one of the greatest athletes in the world right now at his age. And it's as simple as that. And if I'm a Golden State Warriors fan, I, I gotta start to watch look around now because you ain't sweeping the Spurs. All that sweep talk, they ain't sweeping the Spurs. Let me know what you think about it. Until next time, one love.